This is a video on using the Statcado program to calculate a confidence interval and conduct a hypothesis test for the difference between two population means when we have independent samples. So what I have done is I have collected a sample of many test scores, final exam scores, for both my online statistics course and for my face-to-face -face statistics course. So in Staccato, I'm going to enter the data. So I'm going to first label the variable. First variable will be online. And the second, I'm going to type in F to F for my face-to-face -face class. And then I just type in the exam scores that happened in my online class that I um, took the sample from. So I had an 89, a 91, a 64, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I'm finished typing in the final exam scores from the random sample of online students. Now let's type in the final exam scores for the random sample of face to face students. So I'm going to scroll up to the top, click on the first row for my face to face students, and just type in their scores. I had a 76. I had a 72, a 54, an 89, a 48, a 90, etc., etc., etc. Okay, I've now typed in the last of the final exam scores. So now let's find a confidence interval. So I go up to statistics and then confidence intervals. And then I want a confidence interval for two population means. So I click that. I have samples in two columns. Population 1 is C1, or online students, and the population 2 are the face-to-face -face students. I don't know the population standard deviations. I leave that blank. I also don't know anything about the variances, so I can't assume they're equal. Let's use a 95% confidence level. That's standard, and uh, that's the default for this program. And I just hit OK. And it just gave me a confidence interval, two population means, confidence level 0.95. And we can see it gives us our sample sizes, our means, and our standard deviations. And the margin of error was 5.846. And the 95% confidence interval is 2.7177 to 14.4090. So in the context of the question, I can be 95% confident that the mean final exam score for online students is somewhere between 2.7% and 14.4% higher than the mean for all of the face-to-face -face students and the margin of error is 5.8% plus or minus. Okay, now let's conduct a hypothesis test. So I go to statistics, hypothesis test, and then if I go to two population means, that's what I have. I have samples in two columns, population one, online students, population two, face-to-face -face students, and then I don't know the standard deviations. I know nothing about the variances. I leave that blank. For my alternative hypothesis, I wanted to see if there was a difference, it turned out, between the online students and the face-to-face -face students. Had I wanted to find out, say, if online students do better on average, then I would have used a um, greater than. Or had I thought that online students do worse on average, then I'd use less than. But I think that the means are not equal to each other. I just want to find out if there's any difference at all. So I click not equal to. Significance level, let's use 0.05. That's kind of the standard. And I hit OK. So if I scroll down, it says hypothesis test, two population means, confidence level 95%. And again, here's the N, the sample size, the means, and the standard deviations. The null hypothesis is that mu1 minus mu2 equals 0. The alternative hypothesis is mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0. 
So if we look at it, we have a significance level of 0.05. We get the critical values, and the test statistic is a T statistic. Again, we're looking at the difference between two population means, and I don't know the population standard deviation. So that was 2.926. And the P value, the most important statistic I've got, is 0 0.0047. Notice that's much smaller than the level of significance 0 0.05. So I can say that I have strong, statistically significant evidence to make the conclusion that there is a difference in the population mean exam scores for online students versus face-to-face -face students. And I'm done with the problem.